All right, everybody, welcome to the last episode of Absolutely Unnecessary for 2023. Can't thank our two loyal listeners enough for <laughs> your uh, support this year. Um, one passed away. We've only got one left. Yeah, uh, one left. Fuck. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's get into, first of all, stats for 2023. This is, stats are surprising to me because it feels like we've had a, a less busy year than – we would normally have in yeah, terms of look, I think, well, we've volume. Had, we've had way more pullouts, like yeah, especially in the pro. Like having seven booked on the last hex and only getting one fight. Yeah, so we've um, had to- how many fights total for pros? Seventeen, and we yeah. had seven booked on the last hex. Yeah, yeah. So and I like, think one of the other. I think the previous hex before that we had six and we got three through or something or two. Yeah. Like we've had a pretty low. Uh, yeah, I would say we've had more fights all over than we've had go through yeah it's a it's you yeah, the boys you can, with injuries but mainly on the other side it's funny you can see the value like how promoters just struggle with these fights because yeah. the, the pullouts just happen so often yeah and i think the pullouts that are genuine make the ones that are a bit like mm, yeah. st- sting more because yeah. it's like fuck you, you're really fucking a lot for this for this to happen yeah um but yeah, especially in our case, like some of the boys, you you have like well, two big weight misses, or not like you know one weight miss, one weight miss, then still refusing to fight it anyway for Raj. after getting flown in overseas. Yeah, I think. That but was. there's fucking there's more problems to that than we have to talk about. But um, yeah, so we had we went eleven and six um, wins and losses in the pros, and we went eighteen and eleven um, in the uh, amateurs, which you know. In the amateurs, you're not super concerned about your win-loss ratio. It's more about, like, how was the performance? Did they learn from it? Are they improving? And, like, we've never, especially in the amateurs, been too concerned about getting the right fights or trying to build somebody's record. It's The whole point is this seems like a good challenge for them right now, and the result is kind of – it's – it's it's not important compared to the preparation and how they actually perform. Yeah, so a prime example – we probably should mention the weekend just gone. Yeah. Um. So we had Louis Tran fight, awesome job, get like a quick finish against like a a, a good opponent, and yeah, really hadn't been training too much. Like once a week, father. I reckon the like first that. time I seen, I, well, obviously we're on different schedules, but the first time I saw him in six months was at sparring last Friday or the Friday before, yeah. and I said, oh, I haven't seen you in a while, Louis. Like, yeah, I'm fighting next week. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, but he was just like, I want to do it. And I think Louis is actually pretty good and could be pretty Louis, good. Louis' double leg, Yeah, I would say, like, up there, top of the gym in terms of technique and timing on shooting double legs. Timing. Yeah. He, 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 he's one of the better ones for mixing his striking and his grappling. Yeah. You know, um, separately, rubbish. But together, yeah. so, no, just joking. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. That was just funny. And then, yeah. and then Dan Mercurio, obviously, Dan, so Dan lost, lost a split. split. Uh, mm. Yeah. Look, amateurs, I never really get caught up in the results, but both Dan and Martel, I thought, could have been given the decision. I, I would say Dan was a split, and so one judge gave him 29, 28, um, uh, and each way, and then one gave 30, 27 against him. The one that didn't give him the second round shouldn't be a judge. <laughs> judge. Yeah. Like, no, that's fair. It was fucking so clear. Like, I don't have an issue with him losing the fight. I would have a massive issue with... If that was pro, um, yeah, you'd be I'd, be, I'd be pretty dirty. Um, and, but, you know, the result, it wasn't a robbery that yeah. he won that. And then Marte, pretty much pretty much the same. Look, I mean, yeah. Marte's a 17-year-old kid that just fought a 25-year-old. Yeah. And Marte and the, the walked in one kilo heavier than his weigh in weight. Yeah, and, and the, the difference in their bodies, like in the cage there, was unbelievable. Like, yeah. Marte looks like a kid. Yeah, well, he's, he's still, 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 still he's a kid. Yeah. Now. But fuck, he got no quid in him. And but you still you see some seventeen year olds that are like, well, he's a he's a man child. Like, yeah, yeah. Whereas Marte has zero of that. Like, yeah, he's yeah. Like, like he, he wouldn't shave. No, I wouldn't think. Well, no, no. I'm, I'm yeah, actually. Yeah, sure. no, I'm fuck, you laughing at, Chamin? Yeah. That's funny, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, well, we actually got someone that likes our work. It's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Chamin might be a listener now. Yeah, Just the yeah. laughing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so like that would be two losses on that. What do we go? Nineteen, eleven. They're two losses that I'd be. I'm sort of happy with. Like, I'm not happy with the, that we lost, but I'm yeah, happy with how happy with fall. the development. And you saw Mercurio, mate. He's like. He should be a fly. I'm convinced he's a flyweight. Yeah. He, he didn't do any sauna, like no sauna. Yeah. And woke up 
like 600 grams under. Like, right. So, and the other so guy was a flyweight. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But that, he wasn't fighting a bantam. He was at 63, I think, or 64. Right. Which, but still, know. if you're not saunering at all. That and, doesn't touch the sauna. Like, he, he would have made bantam weight on that day mm, easily. Yeah. Like he was still, he still had a dinner the night before. Right. But he probably, he still was a little bit, he wasn't, I don't think he had abs. Like, yeah, right. So, like, if he leans up a couple of kilos and does a couple of kilos in the sauna, he'll be a flyweight. Right. And Makes I sense. think he'll actually do really yeah. well. Because yeah, I think he'd be one that I probably would have put pro if he'd won. And then I'm a little bit like, you don't want to really turn people pro off a loss, but yeah. the performance was there and the guy was big. And yeah. I reckon the main thing, like, the, the biggest intangible for fighters is, is, like, having that dog in you. Yeah. Like, the best athletes, the guys who smack the pads the best and – do great jujitsu. Sometimes, like they just go to water yeah. when it gets tough, and De- Mercury has none of that in him. No, so. and neither is Marte. No, Marte, yeah. mm. Marte is good. Yeah, yeah. he's going to be really good. Yeah. Um. So, like, so we'll change those stats and actually put it to the that they did win. Just change. Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Improve the record. Yeah. Fabricate it. Yeah. Wouldn't be the first person to do amateur that. Amateur titles. What do we pick up in the amateur ranks? So Dylan. I mean, I'm actually fucked. Is it even worth it? Apart from taking the piss out of Dylan, <laughs> not a ma- massive amateur title. Hey, believer, but don't don't disrespect <laughs> Dylan two time Lahari like that. Yeah, come on, no, he's, well, he's officially retired from the sport. Is he? Yeah, he's a professional golfer now. Wait, 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 Watch. wait, wait, wait. Are we actually serious? So he, he does. Yeah, he's, no, not he's not retired. fighting anymore. Yep, yeah, he said he's not. It's not for him. Yeah. Wait, I can't tell. If he's, no, he's out. Oh, no, that's no, serious. Because yeah, yeah. I remember um, we had this. Com- he had this conversation yeah. a while ago. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe two years ago where he just yeah. said he was booked for a fight and he came to you and said, um, not I'm not feeling it. I just don't want to do this, which I actually said is quite courageous because you yeah. get so many people who come and they'll give you any excuse yeah. not to tell you that they just don't want to do it. Yeah. Like they'll say, I've got this on, I've got that on. Like how many excuses have you heard from like, I can't get out of work to my mum doesn't want me to fight or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. And, and you know, some of them, there might be half truths to it, but if you want to do it, you want to do it. It's hard to look yourself in the eye and look the people around you in the eye and say, this isn't for me. And I think a lot more people should do that. Who yeah, probably I, don't, not, yeah. who don't want to do it. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, it'd be a pit. I mean, I have hold hope that he might come back to it, but yeah, um, I'm not saying that he shouldn't do it. I just yeah. think even right now, if right now, oh, but you if your go, head's not in it, you, oh, that's, you can't be even a little bit out yeah. of, out of it yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, no. And, um, and he's achieved everything you could in the sport. Like what else, <laughs> what else is there to do? Well, that was pretty much the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I could try and pick up that other, that, what's that, that UFC belt thing he goes, but. Yeah, I've got two. I've got two. Yeah, right. So I didn't know that. So he's, yeah, he's out. Yeah, yeah. So I think he's still going to up and train and be around the boys a bit. And I think he likes that side of it as more than the. Right. You know. Is he going to sell real estate? What's that? No, I think he's going <laughs> to. No, I better not say that. Um, no, he's. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's actually really throwing himself into his PT business and coaching and stuff like that. Oh, okay. He wants to get paid, he said. Wants yeah. to make the money, yeah, right. Him and um, Alistair Valdez both. <laughs> yeah, I actually reckon I'm gonna I'm gonna sponsor Alistair in his next fight. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a personal sponsorship. You're just gonna put your face on his shorts? Nah, that nah. Would, like, remember I've when I did that with in the gi? Did you ever see that? No, nah. I got that like when you could do patches and you could even do photo patches. Yeah, yeah. And then um, the first one I did was like when I was training and actually still wearing a gi, and I got like like this big cheesy grin photo of Lockie from his Facebook profile and put like a, his head on that like, gig. <laughs> he yes. didn't find it as far. Like, yeah. Didn't, didn't break That's what, like, <laughs> I don't know. Luckily, it's like, I don't find that amusing. Yeah. <laughs> and that was like, Shock. music to my ears. <laughs> even, even funnier. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. What are you charging someone to put someone's face on your shorts? On my shorts? Yeah. Mate, I would do a lot for... Um, you know, a good amount of money. There's not much I wouldn't do. Like I've, I've done some stuff for money. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <bro>. yeah. <laughs> nah, but do I don't you know. Like if, what in a, in a fight? In a fight, if you wanted your face on my shorts, well, you can't for a start. If if I could, yeah, like if I could, it would probably cost you twenty k. Would you charge more for the like, depending <laughs> on the location? On the, if you're on my on my groin, thirty. Yeah. 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 Dirty, but, but yeah, I think that's a good price too. What about yeah. mates rates? Mates. 
Seamus, you're not going on my shorts. <laughs> wouldn't if you, even if you could, I wouldn't put you on there. Fucking <laughs> Frankston. Head, that head. head's not. Yeah. Shorts not are big enough. Man. Your brain can do irreparable damage. <laughs> yeah. Learn that. Um, so what, we, what, what was your highlight of the year? Uh, probably, like, to be honest, Don Seamus. Well, uh, um, well, we just sat. That, that was probably the first one in the UFC. And yeah. For you and a great performance. And then your Jamal Emmers one was good. Look, all the guys winning the titles like Lisa and Lisa and Khan for Hex and Joey for Eternal, um, yeah, all all really good. But obviously, I think the UFC is like the mm. actually Lisa in one was a really good yeah, that was yeah. Good, good result as well. So you know, um, but yeah, look, I think I think like Perth, the combination of the atmosphere, your fight, yeah, I liked I loved Perth. Obviously, it was my walkout. Um, that was like the the moment, like walking out in the UFC was a huge moment and it was, you know, I'll have it with me forever. Um, having you, Andy, and I think, you know, having Ben there as well, like I know yeah. it was disappointing that we couldn't have Raj there, but Ben was there from the start. To, so to have him walking out was great. But then also the fact that that weekend we had Dylan perform so well yeah. on Eternal and Samad perform yeah. so well on Eternal. And then we all went out for dinner afterwards and the fact that it was still like it was just our team going out for dinner like we would normally after you know i know joey lost his recent hex title um a couple of weeks ago but when we all went out for dinner we got some fried chicken afterwards it felt essentially the same vibe as it was after perth and that's uh you know that was probably the highlight for me except that everyone wanted to cry yeah, everyone was a little bit more sad. Yeah, you know, compared to going three for three in a weekend, compared yeah. to you know one of our one yeah, of that, our that weekend was a great weekend too. Because also the the, war, the the fights the night before, I don't think we were we definitely weren't favourite to win. No, any of those. So I think um, yeah, it was great to come away. That that was a really cool weekend. Yeah, um, what about you, Seamus? Highlight? Oh, I think it probably bleeds into the next segment. But AJ. Going to going to Brizzy and winning. Yeah, that was um. AJ and you super coach that weekend. Yeah, it was just me and. AJ did you wrap his hands? I did wrap his hands. How was that? Never done it. Did before. you YouTube it before? I did. I did a quick YouTube. Did you watch the Stitch one? The the sti- Stitch from UFC. Oh, no idea. I That's just, actually the one that I originally watched. Yeah, like seven, eight that's years where ago. I based my first raps off, but yeah. I've kind of changed it a bit since then. It's like the first one that comes up on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's what I. Yeah, I don't know. You would have watched. One I reckon up. you would have watched that one. Yeah, he said they were the best hand wraps. For so MMA? Just, um, no, nah, AJ this said they were the put best a box, ones. He put a boxing rap on. Yeah. Or well, AJ what said it was yeah, a Yeah, AJ rap. said they were the best raps. Is it <laughs> Only raps. Yeah, yeah probably. A- I yeah. did his last one, so AJ can go fuck himself. Yeah. <laughs> AJ, <laughs> no, AJ, a- I-, I will say, AJ has had a fucking roller coaster of a year in terms of, like, what's happened. So, AJ walks in the gym and he is friendly and he takes on some feedback that wasn't real positive for him at the start. He takes it on humbly. Um, he goes a hundred percent in every session. Like he's, you have to put n- Even very if I nearly thirty percent. Yeah, his drill, yeah. yes. Still- <laughs> you have to. But if you've got a choke on, like most of the time, if I've got Seamus's neck and Seamus knows I've got his neck, it'll be like, ah, oh, this is done. You have to let AJ know he's going to go to sleep or he will fight to the death. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's, it's got to be. I'm fucking. The black has to start to come in for AJ to go. So he just goes hard. And then he had a um, – he went off track a little bit with a weight cut. There might have been a little bit of <sighs> potato when he should have been eating tomato and, yeah, yeah. you know, a little bit of not liking sweating as much as he should have. And he, The he, worst weight cut I've ever been a part of. I can yeah, and you've been a part of some bad ones, so that's yeah. saying a lot. I was, I was here and it was – you could make a movie about it. It was traumatic. 300 grams in and he was crying. Yeah. Wasn't good. Yeah. Yeah. But then Josh, our producer here, did this piece and, and Josh does Josh does varying content for the gym, right? And some of it some of it, like a, a lot of stuff we do with Lisa or myself or Samad is like, you know, tongue in cheek. It's a yeah. bit funny, you know, it's a it's a it's it's a bit of a laugh. Some of it is uh more serious. And he's done this piece on AJ after after the fight that Seamus yeah. took him up for. And I originally watched it thinking this was going to be like some kind of piss take, like it was going to be kind of funny. And I got to the end of the video and it was one of the most endearing pieces of footage I've ever seen on a fighter that I know. I was so around him after it. When, when there was those videos of him running around his paddock, where, where's he from? 
Punjab. Punjab. Yeah. yeah. For, from Punjab. And he's running around this paddock with a tire strapped to him, just trying to get work in. And then he was, what did he have? Tires piled up in the corner of a, of a shed. And he was just punching and kicking the tires. And what did he say to you? He said something to you when he first got here, like, please coach, let me out the bath, please. Yeah. Please. Yeah. No. And he said, he said, please. He said, coach back home. When I come to this country, I pray to my God to give me good coach and good gym. And I know when I find you, I have found this and my God has answered my prayers. He I said something like that. I and don't it's remember like, that. He definitely no, said that to not. you. He totally said that to Simon. He definitely did. Well, if they, I feel bad because I definitely blanked him because I didn't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> you told me about it. He said, <laughs> Simon oh. told me about it. I, I swear. Yeah. But uh, and then- He's yeah, a nice kid. And his last, so his last fight, was actually a highlight because he, f so he got booked for that fight when he was, yeah, he'd only had the one real fight on Path Tex, wasn't a great performance. He had the beat, he booked the fight for Path Tex and then had beat Dan in the middle. And then in the, in the meantime, so he had the yeah. beat Dan fight. So it was going in like at one and one or whatever. I mean, I think we actually, he got put down as two and oh on Path to Hex, but they, he had a few interclubs in India. Um, and they sort of, but I would nothing that was outside a gym. So yeah. I'd say he really hadn't. He got pulled hadn't down to an nobody yeah. really had, hadn't had a proper yeah. fight. Um, and he that was the first time in front of people and all that yeah. sort of shit. So he stage for a bit. But the guy that he was fighting, had we'd been told, was a debut. <laughs> mm. And it was not a debut. He was 15 and 5 in kickboxing, we later found out. And he'd gone to the worlds and stuff. And, but yeah. So that was a very good win for AJ in the end to then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's like. He, He's fucking tough as nails. Yeah, he's, like, he's, he's, he's Well, he is like he was in training and expected, and then the first don't know what happened with that first weight cut. I've never seen a big like I'm just being honest. Oh like, yeah. yeah, a bigger sook, and he. It's a and different the, kind and of. And in the fight, he, the first fight, he just like he, he, he crumbled. Yeah, that's all mental, isn't it? Yeah, but then after that, he turned it around, and then now he's a different man, and he was. Much tougher opponent in his last fight, and yeah. really did well. Really good, yeah. It's good yeah. though. He's got like a good little, yeah. good little following now. He's yeah. got a good little, and it's only up from there from him. Like if he keeps his head down and keeps working, I haven't seen him though. Is he around? He's back on back yeah, to back India. home. Oh great! The prince yeah. has returned. Is he yeah. coming back here? Um, I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a bit actually. Yeah, no, I believe he, he told me he was coming back in January. I think yeah. the last time. I was right, to him. gotcha. Yeah, he's in, and in the like he sends money home. Like he works what two jobs yeah. here or three jobs here yeah. in between training, and he sends money back to his family. Superstar. Yeah. Um. Next, we already spoke about that a little bit. Um, he sent money to Raj's opponent to help get him home. Yeah. <laughs> Raj is still not happy about that. <laughs> Probably rightfully so. Fair, fair. Yeah. Uh, we Maybe already spoke right. about both those things. Joey, um, Joey beat Caleb Bright out to win the Eternal title, which yeah. was just a dominant performance. Yeah, um, really good. It's really good. Um. Lisa won the Hex title. Who did she fight Amina. for that again? Amina. Amina, yeah. yeah. Good fight. Yeah. Amina's really good. Lisa's really good. Lisa. Yeah. Lisa got the job done. Lisa's like, it's it's crazy. Like, Lisa isn't someone who you look at or you teach and you go, she's a star, like, she's going to be really good. But I still, like, I've got no idea where her ceiling is because it's like she just has – sort of untapped potential, but yeah, when she, it's when she very learns, hard, like very hard to tap into yeah, yeah. that potential. But when she some, learns which is a right hand and a left hand. Yeah, like, no, so this, this isn't, this isn't, a, it's not a knock on her, like, but she, I was gra grappling with her the other day and I was genuinely struggling to choke her. And it's yeah. like, you can tell that she's just been working on that stuff for yeah. so long. And when the penny drops, she doesn't lose it. Like she's yeah, got yeah, it, yeah, yeah. but it's just about like She's got a few really good takedowns that are hard to stop that she'll get on anyone. She's like, and she's now getting that, oh, if I get, I get on someone's back like this and I choke her when I do that. And then she, mm. she's choked a lot of people, a lot of dudes in the gym. Oh yeah. And that. Like, no, no, the no, worst, no but I mean. Yeah. Did she choke she, you out? No. No way. Mason. I wouldn't let that happen. Mason, the worst. The worst. Alistair. Really? No, so, yeah. She, and she, wow. stopped, she stopped doing that thing, which is the worst thing. I love Lisa, but she used to do it all the time. You'd be sparring her and you'd whip a kick up at her and you'd pull your kick so you and didn't hurt her and she'd grab it and then oh. fucking throw a three-piece at you while you're off balance. And then you go... 
well, I just pulled my kick. Yeah. And then you'd go, all right, well, I'm just going to have to drop you. And then you'd kick her and you'd drop her and you'd be like, well, fuck. Yeah, this is yeah. your fault. You, I didn't do this. You made me do this. because I'm not, like you at home. I'm not, I didn't want to hit you. <laughs> it's your, why do you make me do this, Brittany? <laughs> I am, for the record, I am not a violent partner. Never have been. Um, un- unless she... Talks back, <laughs> yeah. but Lisa, the uh, catching kicks, she hasn't done that this year, so she's. I feel like she's she's picked up on that. Yeah, she has stopped that. <laughs> she's been screaming. She screamed, she screamed at fifty and, times and dropped and dropped to the body so she many times. Always catch on her head. Oh my like, god! You know, like, <laughs> and then run the kick back, like, and then just run with your leg up there. Oh, it's seven oh five. Um, Khan, Khan won the hex title. That was awesome. Yeah, um, probably. against Jarrett, that was a really good fight, really entertaining fight. Um, let's we'll go. Call a couple it of breakthroughs for twenty. Breakthroughs. Who do I think is going to be the biggest breakthrough in twenty twenty four? I think it's going to be Mason Nabetsu. I think Mason will go at least three and zero in twenty twenty four as a pro. Yeah, nice. Who do you think? Seamus. That's Whoa. what I'm looking at. Say yourself. You can have a couple. Like Say you yourself. Couple. Nah, I won't. nah. We'll just keep it humble. Well, um, who? Definitely well, not well, fucking Josh. Cumble and realistic. Yeah. yeah. Did you say cumble? No, humble and realistic. <laughs> you said cumble for sure. <laughs> come on your Play brain. it back. <laughs> you just got to come on your brain. <laughs> give, give, I need to think. Give me a minute. You go. I was, that's why I threw to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you've already done Mason. I, Look, uh, uh, we I st- mean, obviously, Martev would be some, but I think he'll probably least a year at amateur yeah um i can damn mccuro could do yeah at flyweight at fly damn mccuro goes flyweight breaking through to pro or amateur yeah any pro. anyone in the yeah. gym yeah. all right like jared and chris definitely could like have a good start in amateur i reckon yeah yeah sure yeah they're pretty consistent and then, yeah you know, yeah they're getting better um yeah, I think. Yeah. If Sem Kikembo well, comes to training, this could be easier. Well, I like. I. Alleg- not, he's a dull fight, was a fucking good fight, and he didn't train. Like, if he had some training. Stupid to that. talented. Like, yeah. stupidly talented. Yeah. Otto, too, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Otto, really good. His yeah. last fight was. Per, like, his strike. And Kwame. Amazing. Fuck, there's a few names. Kwame, now. Yeah. yeah. Now, the more we go, the less people that we get left yeah, out. Yeah. Now, it's, uh, Sam Miles better say Sam. He'll he's definitely the guy that would be like, "Fuck, well, why didn't you say my yeah. name?" <laughs> nah, but wouldn't that that might drive him to try harder? Yeah, I don't think trying, like a trying sense. Nah, he's a fucking hard worker. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, wrap it up. We Jeez. got training. Okay. Bye. Thanks, guys. I got you.